Hey everybody. So it's become apparent to me that I'm going to need to uh, come up with 50 or 60 bucks to get myself a wide angle lens for this camera. So I can set it back a little further and you can see more of what's going on here. But in this video, basically what I'm doing here is getting ready to thread up the command console computer thingy box things. I counted it out and there's 132 small holes per station so that equals just about 400 uh, threads at six inches each is going to be what 200 feet that's a lot of thread and what I have here is a project spool from the fiberopticstore.com Paul is a great guy he's definitely someone you want to deal with his prices are great you can get good sample packs of all different sizes then he's got these project spools for the real monster jobs and just doing that fast math, thinking, oh yeah, it'll be a few dozen feet maybe for all of these guys, 200 feet. Kind of shocked me. So I've got a little more of this if we do run out. And all I've done here to make this easy for unspooling is take a uh, dowel stick, put some holes into this cardboard box. This now spins nice and freely. And what I'll be doing is, I was looking around, I need to cut 6 inch threads of course, and to do that I was looking around for things that I could wrap it around, and it turns out this humble can of testers spray enamel is 6.5 inches, which is awfully darn close. This can of air is definitely too thick, as are standard uh, paint cans as well, by I think this is closer to 7 or 8 inches, and that's just getting to be a big waste when you're looking at that kind of quantity. You know, if that's eight inches, that's two additional inches per rotation. 400 rotations, it definitely adds up to a lot. But this guy is definitely going to be good. So, who's going to count out 400 rotations with me? I don't blame you if uh, you go mad and shoot yourself right now. I certainly should. So to make this a little easier, oops, and yeah, to make this easier we'll lose track of the fiber optic thread first and foremost. So what I want to do is start this off in a standard place and what I used to measure this out was the barcode right there. So we'll just plop that down. Essentially what I did was I took my ruler and measured a spot rolled the can out and bam six and just over half an inch so here we go one two three four one percent of the way there yeah woo five and forty ten percent of the way there eighty Two hundred. Three hundred. Three twenty five. Three hundred and fifty. One, two, three. Ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, four hundred approximately. Let's go for a few more because I know I'm going to drop a bunch of these. They're going to get lost on the floor and all sorts of other stuff. So I'll go out to 450. 350. 450 rather, excuse me. So let's snip this off here and maintain tension on both ends because I don't want to lose this. Try and put this away here. Now with this trick you're going to have to move with relative haste because white glue does dry a little quickly. Like I was just saying it would be nice if I could pass it through the back side but really can't see what's going on here but let's give it a try because that's going to be a lot easier than doing it from the front you definitely want to keep your fingers free of glue 
because once you start getting it on your fingers it gets on the thread and then gets all over the place so I won't be too surprised if I miss a few holes on this first pass here but I am not going to worry about that simply because not every hole needs to light up having a few completely dark ones will not be a bad thing I don't think at least not for my build now if you were just inserting this without the glue in there and probably what I should have done is just a little glue at a time because by the time I get to that far end that's going to be a lot more dried up than I care for it to be and as I was just about to say if you were just threading this in and hoping it stays there you would be very disappointed and I just thought of another trick I'll do on the next one to see if that goes better in fact you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wash all this super this white glue out right now and we're gonna try a different trick <laughs> 